Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Legend of Dragoon. All right. Hmm. We. Hmm, I kind of want to check the path up because we didn't go that way. Enough, Celine. <laughs> My cat drives me fucking nuts, you guys. Oh, there appears to be. Uh, is that the path to the city? It is. Huh, we can go to Denon Grad, you guys. Maybe there's new equipment here at least. I'm not sure if this is where we're supposed to go. What the hell? Oh, look at this place. What the hell's wrong with you, man? It's cold, cold. I'm from Tiberola, and this cold weather is too harsh for me. Yeah, I hear you, my man. Uh, today was actually the first snowfall. Like, as I record this right now, this morning was the first time this year that it snowed. Hello, it's a warm day. <laughs> Must be a local. Recently, the evergreen forest has become a nest of monsters. The animals in the forest have turned into monsters. We're not warriors, it's too dangerous to go through the evergreen forest. Don't worry, sir, I have a feeling that we'll be taking care of that problem. <laughs> Hello there. I was just married the other day. I'm as happy as a lark. We were married and blessed by the Bishop Dill. I'm so happy now. Well, the fire is a little strong. I wonder if they grew up in Tiberoa. What did that say? It is maintained well. It appears as if there is a shop right here. A owner of the item shop. Healing fogs, healing breezes, deep petrifiers. Uh, fuck's sake. I wish you could organize your items in the actual shop menu. have some good stuff, please. Yes! Okay, we got a new weapon for Congo. A tomahawk. We've got the Spear of Terror, you guys, for King Albert. And we've got a Diamond Claw, which is what we already have for Hashel. We've got a Breastplate. And it's only for Congo. Got Master's Vest, and that is only for Hashel. Soul headband, and that is also only for Hashel. She already has the jeweled crown, Stardust boots. Increases escape rate from magical attacks by five points. Let's go ahead and buy one of these, but not equip it. We'll check it after. Protector, arm blocking, fear, petrification. The armor of legend, you guys. I see. So it was a good idea to buy those boots. Yeah, you can't see percentages in the shop menu. That's why I bought a pair anyways. Oh, damn it. Nope.
our religious center, the Milicesso National Church, is at the top of these stairs, okay? Uh, I'm moved every time I listen to Bishop Dill's preaching. Would you listen to it? <laughs> perhaps, good sir, perhaps. I was just the guy that says that it's warm yet. Right, we have a hotel. Oh no, this is the, uh, that's the, uh, clinic, hospital, whatever you want to call it. Let's check out what's in here. Wonder if, uh, he read all this. If so, that's amazing. It's a big stack of books. If you like books too, uh, then go to the city's national library. You can find any book there. Oh, <laughs> whoa. Women are running this country. Ooh, Queen Teresa and the four sacred sisters, all four of them are women. This is the hotel. Came here to the city to see the National Library. Came from Sardio to see the Crystal Palace. We came from Sardio, but we never imagined that it would be this dangerous of a journey. But seems there is an upstairs too, but it's not used. Up my way, <laughs> damn it. Wow. Strange that there's no uh, save point in here. Ah, oh, it's right there. That's why. Talk to me, kid. That castle is pretty like a crystal, isn't it? They say that the building was used by a now extinct species. I learned it in school. It is locked. Okay. This is the Millicisso National Library. It's filled with all those difficult books. It's boring. Honey, it's a nice day today. Let's have a cup of tea. Young people like you can't imagine how wonderful a quiet life is with just me and my wife. Uh, it's warm. It rejuvenates me. Oh, jeez. I'm tired, you guys. It's also because I'm not really feeling very good today. <laughs> yippee, yippee. Get out of my way. It's warm. Wow! Told you, play quietly in the house. <laughs> Her kids are like a bunch, a couple of ruffians. Hello there, sir. The Knight of Melissa, so you guys. There is a ceremony going on. Please come another time. Okay. that the divine tree that lives in our heart and the last fruit have been protected from evil by the signets created by the ancient winglies. The legend goes, when the signet is broken, the end of the world approaches. Oh, that's very ominous. <laughs> Just like the last fruit, we humans are one of the fruits given life by the divine tree. For the end of the world to be a mere legend, we must remove evil from our hearts and live in honesty. It is our mission as children of the divine tree, you guys. Oh, what a fine sermon.
divine tree. I've never heard of it. We still don't know what the objectives are for Lloyd. Any information could be helpful. Oh, you must be travelers. Welcome to Jenningrad. My name is Bishop Dill. I serve the divine tree. I'm Dart. Uh, this drawing is what you were talking about? Yes, it is. The divine tree. But this is what we imagine. Nobody has ever seen the real tree. Nonetheless, we believe in the divine tree. It is the source of life in harmony. Would you like to know more about the divine tree? Uh, we got no thank you or yes please, obviously. <laughs> yes please. Oh, here we go, you guys. Oh. The divine tree is the tree of life. Okay. All life comes from this divine tree. You drazel. In the beginning, nothingness filled the world. But then? Then the creator saw descended from the sky. The divine tree. Signet of Soa, you guys. That was nuts. It is like this. The world was established with a fate determined by Soa. God's tree, sown by Soa. It is the divine tree. If you would like to find out more about this, you can go to the National Library. Is that the Millisesso National Library? I can step into the treasury of knowledge. I wonder if I'm capable of receiving all of this incredible luck and still remain calm. <laughs> He's freaking out, you guys. <laughs> no, I cannot. The treasure of knowledge is shining and calling me. Uh, Albert, are you okay? Uh, let's go. <laughs> okay. Who are you people? Do you realize that you are talking to librarian Yute? No, sorry. So, what do you want? Have you interrupted my ceremony for no reason? I don't like stubborn old guys because I want to be an adorable old guy. <laughs> Did you say something? Please wait. We were told by Bishop Dill that there is a wonderful library here. If you want, you can just go to the library. Oh, wait, I locked the door when I left. So could you open the door? I would love the opportunity to touch such treasures of intelligence. Alright, stop looking at me like that. <laughs> I appreciate it. I'll let you in now. He's such a haughty old guy. <laughs> Don't say that. 
We have to do what we can do until Lloyd shows up. That's true. He used a dragon and a dragoon in Sirdio. And in Teberoa, he obtained the cooperation of a wingling. We don't know what he will do here. Yeah, true that. He's like totally unpredictable at this point. And of course, he's being all cryptic about everything and not really telling us what the hell's going on. <laughs> this is incredible! This is the knowledge source of Endonis. Go look for anything you want. <laughs> the entire wall is filled with books. Oh my god. It's a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> Maybe we could find out something about virages and the moon that never sets. Doesn't looking at these things all the time have an effect on you? It made me wise. <laughs> Congo feels dizzy. Gigantos lose to books. <laughs> Here's something about dragoons. It also talks about dragoons too. We can say that the Sardian War was started from the dragoon spirit that was brought by Lloyd. Let's split up and look. Let's just do it. Guess I'll have to use my brain for the first time in a long time. <laughs> Can Congo read human words? <laughs> if Rose was here, she would tell us a lot. They'll be back when they finish with their errands. We have to do what we can now. Yeah. Uh, it's probably going to be a lot of reading. <laughs> Let me take a sip of my drink, you guys. All right, Congo. It is about Wingley's, I guess. <laughs> you guess? Congo cannot read human characters. Congo looks picture. <laughs> Let me read it. Wingley's are people with wings of light who employ magical power. They had their glory 11,000 years ago and had enormous magical power that could float colossal cities. City floats. <laughs> Yes, it's unimaginable in the current world. They became extinct after the war with the humans who were seeking their liberation. But Lennis, who was a wingley, was alive. Besides, us dragoons are supposed to be only a legend. A legend does not necessarily tell the truth. Take a look at this picture. Humans and dragons. No, dragoons and dragons. And what is this? Farage, manipulated by winglings. Uh, okay. Shana, what you got? Shana, did you find out something? This book is talking about divine moon objects, but they're just divine objects from a legend to begin with. There are no details. Like if we can find out the meaning of the divine moon objects, I think we can find out what Lloyd wants. Okay, let me read the part I found. After the dragon campaign, Humans controlled the continent of Endonis and divided the continent into four and established three new countries to the east, Sardio, to the south, Timaroa, and to the north, Milisiso. To the west of the continent, the untouched land, the death frontier. Each country shared three divine objects inherited from the Winglies as proof of their alliance. The divine moon objects are said to conceal the magic power, however, their usage is unknown. Usage is unknown. Huh. His mystery must be hidden there. I'll look into it more. Alright. Uh, see if we can, uh, nope. I was gonna say, see what these guys are figuring out. This is a marvelous place. It seems all the wisdom uh, that humans can possibly know is here. I'm reading a book on politics now. This is very... Uh, can you do politics after we take care of Lloyd? <laughs> uh, yes, indeed. Now, uh, uh, let me read the portion that talks about dragons. According to this, dragons are the second most powerful species of all the 107 creatures given life by the Divine Tree. Their attacks and life power overwhelm others. 
However, the creator so created a balance by reducing the dragon's intelligence. Therefore, they were to be controlled by humans with their wisdom. During the dragon campaign 11,000 years ago, they had fierce battles against virages, manipulated by winglings, and couldn't avoid being annihilated. But they weren't annihilated, like the book says. True, and again, they are ruled by dragoons. I'll look for more. Oh, my face is starting to hurt from all this reading, you guys. <laughs> I'm like already like kind of sick in a way, like, you know, like I'm not feeling too good. Are you done with your research? Doesn't seem like it. Take your time. This book talks about the Dragoons. The Dragoons from Legend? Yes, it is. The heroes of the Dragon Campaign. hurts to swallow, you guys. <laughs> it hurts to sniffle, too. Like, all my nasal passages in my throat, like, fucking sucks. According to this, we are the first new Dragoons to come along since that time. Maybe. Dragoons are to be called when history requires them. When history requires them. Is that now? Lavitz was a Dragoon, and Graham, Dole, and Lennis, too. Were their deaths necessary? That is what only history can tell. I, of course, don't know. <laughs> However, it all started out from the Dragoon spirit that Lloyd brought. If Lloyd is a part of history that is necessary, then our journey seems to be dragged along by his fate. A bar, says my cat. <laughs> In spite of the fact that they were humans, the seven heroes who led the dragon campaign to victory 11,000 years ago cross the sky and cast spells. After they fulfilled their roles, they vanished with the Dragoon Spirits, as if it were some avoidable fate. This legend seems to be the telling that after this journey, we will vanish. Uh. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, it led to the Dragon Campaign. Uh, what, man? Okay. What do you need? Are you acting superior again? Uh, of course, I am superior. <laughs> I prefer being a hit with girls over feeling superior. I don't care about those things. Seems like you were interested in the dragon campaign. Winglies, divine moon objects, dragons, and dragoons. These all had something to do with the dragon campaign. And then Lloyd has something to do with the dragon campaign. Yeah, he must. The Dragon Campaign is my speciality. Maybe I can be of assistance. Tell me. We only know fragments. I see. This is the legend of the Dragon Campaign that I know. Celine, shut up. There were seven Dragoon Warriors in the legend of the Dragon Campaign. Dragoons, reputed to be the incarnation of dragons. With dragons at their side, the dragoons fought boldly. However, in the age when the legend was reality, the Winglies dominated all, even the gods. The gods answered to dictator Melbu Fama's prayers and granted him ultimate power. But the power was abused. The earth of Saint Imperial Gloriano was scorched by the god's fire and became ashen. The anger and sadness of the people was fuel for the dragoon's cause. And at last they freed the gods. Without the god's power, the Winglies perished, and our age, the human age, began. Thereafter, the gods floated in the sky. For 11,000 years, they have been looking over the world as the moon that never sets. What? The moon that never sets. 
Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> that is the story. Did you find out something related to Lloyd? <clears throat> well, that's unfortunate. You're already, <laughs> you're already here, so might as well check the uh, reference room upstairs. Are there more books? No. It contains the historical material of Melissa Soap. For other people, it may seem to be mere trash. However, for our country, they are all historical objects. This is something left by the Black Monster that brought an inferno down upon this country. The Black Monster? Oh shit, you guys. It has already been 18 years. It is surprising a young man like you knows about it. I was born in Neat. God, are you a survivor from the village? Yeah, the only. Beginning and ending of the Dragon Campaign, it's a wall painting with the theme of the Dragon Campaign. The depiction of Dragoons. These are Dragoons during the Dragon Campaign. Seems like a painting of the Divine Tree. Stone plate of people with wings. It must be about the winglings. Relics from Neat, the tragic village. Shit, eh? The Saint Luvia. I've seen this somewhere. Oh, it's a big ship. Oh my god, yo, it's the the ghost ship. The Saint Luvia. Huh. It's this one. Okay. This is the stained glass of the church in Neat. Do you remember seeing this? Yes. Faintly, but I do remember. It was really a monster. These are the only things that survived the Black Flame. Do you know anything about what happened to Neat back then? Any survivors, or... I know only one. Uh, who's that? Uh, you know? The second sacred sister of Melissa So, Sister Luana. seems you don't know her. However, I can tell you a little bit about the Black Monster. There is a legend about the Black Monster and the Moon Child. Would you like to hear it? Oh yes. Yes, please. It is ironic, but... The people who visit the church in Neat pray for their own happiness by looking at this stained glass, which shows the legend of the Black Monster and the Moon Child. did the gods create him? The black monster. He appears in various legends as a demon who rebels against and devours the gods. An evil plague that rejects peace in the world. A god that is the moon that never sets. The moon that never sets glows red every 108 years. It is a sign the herald is known to us as the moon child. moon child. The legend says the moon child revives the gods on earth and purifies the world. The black monster abhors, hates, and despises it and kills the moon child. This sad karma is endless. This god stays forever in the sky, and the world is in never-ending chaos. Shit. Look at that dragon. God, you guys, that dragon looks insane. What the hell is that? 
Well, it looked like it was... It looks like on the right side that the Winglies teamed up with the Dragoons in order to fight that big-ass dragon on the left. Shit. Did they all have to band together to fight against that big-ass dragon? Meanwhile, in neat, you guys. Rose. Nothing has changed. Am I hesitating? It's silly. Ooh, we've got control as Rose, you guys. Are we? We are obviously by ourselves. Yes. She's still good to go. Yes. She has her therapy ring. Well, you guys, it looks like we're Rose for the time being. Uh, I guess we'll end the episode right here. We're at 31 minutes anyway. So, uh, yeah, man, thank you guys so much for coming out and watching this episode of The Legend of Dragoon, baby. Do me a favor, leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel, man. It would truthfully make my day. Other than all that, wish you guys the total best. I hope you guys have a freaking awesome rest of your day. <coughs> and, <laughs> and I'll see you guys in the very next episode. So you best be sure to have a good one. Bye, bye.